The working class sleepwalks through life, unaware of the machine that drives them. Let's wake them up then, shall we? Hello everyone, PunchNuts here. We got more confirmed facts for Assassin's Creed Syndicate coming from GamerGen.com. The crowd isn't clumped in the streets anymore since this place will now be on the sidewalks. On the contrary, the streets will be seized by vehicles. Both the weapon wheel and HUD have been positioned at the bottom which gives the player a clear view of the action and allows a quick look at all information in the blink of an eye. The now circular map and health bar have been repositioned on the bottom left of the screen and the weapon wheel, like in previous games, to its bottom right. All enemies will not have the same behavior. Some may call for reinforcements while others are tougher to get rid of. The player will have to play with patience and strategy to kill, stay undetected, and save people that can join the Jacob and Evie's game. The player can directly recruit allies during missions, and once the territory is conquered, assign groups to it. It is possible to improve these factions and the loyalty of the game's members by completing missions. Completing these missions will help the members get stronger and unlock upgrades for the main protagonists. For melee fighting, there is going to be a whole arsenal at the player's disposal. Apart from the brass knuckles which will cause very violent sequences, a variety of guns will leave no chance to the enemies. Depending on where the player is targeting the enemy, each body part will have a different reaction and headshots will obviously be fatal. Using an enemy as a shield will be back in the game by pressing a button at the right time. There will be a variety of classy and fun combos to trigger during fights. Going back to its roots, Assassin's Creed Syndicate will focus 100% on the single player campaign. No cooperation, no online multiplayer, and no companion app. Going down from the list, I think that it is quite cool that the pedestrians are now on the sidewalks and not in the streets because of vehicles, but I wonder if they'll cross the street every now and then to get to the other side, but we'll see. Now that the weapon wheel and HUD are positioned at the bottom, it's a circle again, so nothing new there is just a repositioning of the HUD, weapon wheel, everything we've seen before. I love how enemies will have different behaviors. I believe the police will call for reinforcements and the gains will be tougher to get rid of, as it explains here. I love that patience and strategy is needed to get rid of these people. I love that it forces you to use stealth because if you get detected the gains will kill people you can join Jacob and Evie's gain. So Assassin's Creed seems like more of a stealth game than combat even though it wasn't like that sometimes in previous games. I love that there is a reason to use stealth in this game. I love how you can recruit allies during missions. That is really cool and is not just an open world thing. And I love how you can assign groups to terror Territories. I'm not sure if Gaines will try to take them back, which I think will be really cool if they do add more things to do in the open world. I love how you complete certain missions and the player gets upgrades and so does his gain. This seems like something very important to do in the game to upgrade your character, Jacob and Evie and the members of your gain, which will definitely be useful in the long run. I love how there will be more to just the brass knuckles and melee fighting, but something that really surprised me is that you can shoot an enemy anywhere with a gun and that certain part of their body will react differently and I would just love to see someone just get shot in the leg and just beg for mercy even though that sounds kind of bad but it'll be really cool to see in my opinion. Something that really surprised me that was making a return was the enemy shield that was introduced in Assassin's Creed 3 and I think that was the only game that had it. I'm not sure if Black Flag had it. I mean I don't think so. But yeah that is quite interesting that it's back. Now that I think of it Unity could have really had that because when you're fighting more more than like three enemies everyone then tries to shoot you so now that we have enemy shields back from a press of a button we can just take an enemy and cover our backs from gunshots so this sounds really useful and i'm actually really glad that this is back in assassin's creed syndicate i'm very glad to hear that there will be combos in this game classy and fun jacob looks really classy to me so to hear that classy combos are in this game is going to be really cool and i believe combat will be very fun in this game so i thought cooperation Operation was pretty good in Unity. It didn't really bother me too much that I wasn't back in the Syndicate, but I'd rather have them focus on the single player campaign than online multiplayer or cooperation. But something I am very glad to hear is that the companion app is not returning in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Oh my god, I don't want to begin to explain Unity's crap with that. Leave it for another time, probably won't even talk about it then, but still, I'm just very glad to hear that a companion app is not going to return for Assassin's Creed.
Assassin's Creed Syndicate. But yeah, this is a pretty good list of information for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I am very interested to see what you guys think about it. Leave your questions in the comment section down below. Please subscribe for everything Assassin's Creed, Hitman, Doom, and other miscellaneous videos. And I'll see you guys later.